In this video, I'll tell you how to log in into DHS to app, the Android app, using your credentials and to enter data. In this case, it is for the weekly form uh, for Guyana as a pilot. So I already have the app downloaded on my mobile phone and uh, you can see it on the screen. I'll just open it. Wait for it to load a little bit. Uh, there you go. Just have some information already there. So I'll delete it. Okay, so for the server URL, you will have the name of the server already given to you. Uh, I'll just put what I have HTTPS www.dhis. Uh, so here, here is the information that I already have for my server. You put in the username that you have. Um, I will just put in tester B. We created that fictitious account and password, uh, whatever has been supplied to you. Make sure that the username, if it is in caps, put as caps. Uh, DHIS2 does not accept you to change your username uh, from capital to lower lowercase or uh, vice versa. Put in your password. Again, uppercase and lowercase should be the way it, they should be. Um, just for your knowledge, this for instance is tester V's uh, password over here, and then you can just log in. DHIS2 might ask you for the information. This is in case you end up having any errors. If you don't have any, um, that's okay, but uh, it's up to you if you want to sign up or you don't want to sign up. Uh, it's a very small amount of data. I'll just say agree for my case. So do we want to use your biometric uh, security to log in? Uh, in advanced phones or in phones that you have uh, um, face login or uh, fingerprint login, it might ask you this information. Uh, in other phones, you might have uh, pins or any other uh, way of getting the data, uh, getting to sign up, sign into the app. Usually, uh, your password works very well and you can also use the pin it's usually very cumbersome to use the password every day to sign in so we'll just say okay this is where dhis2 is connecting to the server and downloading your form for the first time this could be done in seconds or it could be uh, take minutes sometimes depending upon how fast your internet is so right now this is the the screen, the home screen, which you will see once you've logged in. Uh, here, it would enlist all the number of forms that are present on the server. The form that we have online is weekly malaria data. Uh, when it says zero data sets, it means that there is no data stored locally on the phone. It does not mean that there's actually no data in the cloud or in the server itself. So let's enter data. Uh, just uh, go ahead and uh, click onto this. There's a there's a plus button on the bottom if you can look at it. And if you to do see it, just say press, uh, just press it. And here, for the first time, you will see the org unit or the hospital or health post that you're assigned to. Your username is assigned to. If this is correct, go ahead. If this is not correct, let us know and we'll correct it for you. Uh, the reporting period, go ahead and click that and you will get these options for instance. Um, let's try it going ahead and uh, let's try going uh, let's try to go ahead and put in data say for v5 select v5 and you'll get it and say next there we go so right now if you look at it you have at least four tabs you have microscopy on the top you have rdt's stock and also details and there's a plus button uh, there's a saving button on the bottom do not press this button for now First, enter all the data, and then and then only press this button. Otherwise, it will save uh, it will save the form incomplete. <clears throat> also, for each one of these variables, so in microscopy tab, you have all of these variables. It says, for instance, new tested microscopy. If you do not know what the variable means, there's this small I button uh, right next to it. If you click it on it, it will give you the definition or more information about what that variable means. So right now we know what this data is. So new tested is number of new slides that might have been examined, say 15 in the last week. Um, maybe five people were followed up. 
So that's what recheck is. To recheck is confirmed cases that were followed up for malaria microscopy. And new positive, that is of the 15 that we tested, uh, maybe two were positive. Uh, one was falciparum, another was Vivax. We did not see any malaria cases. We did not see any my mixed cases or any other species which could be ovale or other things. Okay. Uh, once you're done with this, do not press this uh, save button. Go ahead and put data for RDTs. If you have RDTs or health center, great. If you have, don't have it, um, just go ahead and put zeros for instance. Go to stock. And here the question may, be, uh, may appear completely on your phone depending upon what your resolution is. If you don't see the complete uh, question, uh, there's this small uh, arrow on the top. You can click it to expand to fit on your screen. It varies. Uh, sometimes it will just uh, increase the size of the or the width or the length. Uh, it will try to adjust basically. If, however, you don't get that information, uh, you can also press the I button. And it might give you some information. Right now, there's no information included in it, so it doesn't give you anything. Okay, look, go ahead and click it. It asks you the question also. Enough RDTs in stock to cover the next one month? Um, yes, if you have it. Um, let's just answer yes to all of them except for one, just for trial purposes. And we'll say no. There we go. So we have all these different forms, uh, sorry, different uh, results. Uh, we can make sure we have entered data for everything. Um, you can also look at the details. Details is nothing much. It'll just tell you uh, what details have you put in for now. And if you're satisfied with all of this information, what you've put in, just go ahead and press the button on the bottom to save. It will ask you this question. Are you okay to save it? Uh, if, if everything looks good, then go ahead and press yes. And there you go. Right now, one record has been saved, the one that you entered right now. And if you look on the very um, uh, right hand side of this record, there's a small two arrow button or two arrows uh, icon. It means that the data right now is only on your phone. It has not been synced to the server. So nobody else, anywhere else, would be able to see it. If you want them to see it, usually the phone itself the app itself would sync once every 24 hours. So if you've already saved the data, probably at 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. in the morning, it would sync, depending upon when you've downloaded your app. If you want it to be synced right now, the best way to do it is just press that icon, the double arrow icon, and it will give you this option uh, asking you if uh, you want to send the data. If you, if you want to send the data, you have to press send. Make sure the data is on your uh, either your phone is connected to the internet through Wi-Fi or or your data is on. If your data is not on, this data will not be sent. Not in this case. So we go ahead, go ahead and press send. There you go. Synchronizing is complete. All this data has been sent, and the icon also disappears. That's pretty much it. What you want to do? Um, let's just get out of this app again once. And now let's get in. There we go. Weekly malaria data, one data set. And if you want to go ahead and change data, sometimes you want to go back and rectify it. Go ahead and click it. Change this. Say instead of 15, you want to say now you have 25. Great. Go back and save it. Values are saved. Again, you have the double arrow icon. To refresh or to sync it you go ahead and send it and that's it you don't have to do send every record every time it can happen automatically if you let it be uh, but if you want to send it uh, immediately then this is the process that's it for now thanks